Hello and what's up guys, this is Rohit from Alro Tech. We're starting a new series on iOS. We will be using Xcode 5.x for this video. Let's start with the basic one where we'll be passing data between two view controllers. To start, what we have to do is uh, open file new project in your Xcode 5.x. Make sure you check automatic reference counting if you're using Xcode 4.x. Okay, so um, we're gonna uh, pass data between controllers, so I'm gonna name it data transfer. Um, what you have to do is uh, click on next and create your project in documents or wherever you want. I have already created a project, so I'm just gonna go and open this screen right here. Yes, so this, uh, this is how it's gonna look when you create the project. This is your storyboard. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a view controller because we're gonna pass data between view controllers here. So yes, there are two view controllers here now. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a three text boxes and a submit button. And we're gonna pass the data about what's in the text boxes to the uh, second view controller, our target view controller. Um, that's gonna have uh, labels uh, that'll show the, uh, the text boxes details uh, shown up there. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna put some text boxes on the view controller. And uh, yeah, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and copy paste them and not actually dragging them again and again. What this does is um, this will uh, this will actually give you uh, the text box that you copied and you do not have to drag and uh, resize it again. So yeah, that comes in handy. Uh, uh, you'll have to use the placeholder text. You can see how that looks here. Um, yeah. Uh, so we'll use the name, address and phone number um, uh, and that's what we're gonna show on the next view controller. Phone number. Phone number. Yup, uh, we're pretty much done with the text boxes, name, address and phone number, we have it here. And now we're gonna have uh, the button. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, one thing to say here is, um, yeah, uh, for phone number, you can choose a different keyboard, uh, like uh, we're using phone pad here, or you can use number pad. Uh, we're gonna use number pad, um, ultimately. Uh, you can also choose between a phone pad and number pad. So whenever you go to the phone uh, number text box, uh, a different keyboard will pop up. So yeah, we're gonna use number pad here. Uh, now all we need is a button and we're done with the UI in the first view controller. Okay, he will put the button here and we'll name it as submit. Cool, cause it's gonna submit uh, the data. Okay, um, you can see that Xcode is showing you an error here. It's not actually an error; it's a warning. That um, and let's let's go ahead and see what the warning says. Uh, it will say uh, that the scene is not reachable. Um, we're just gonna see it in a minute. Um, make sure you keep your eyes on these uh, warnings and errors. See, it says that the scene is unreachable due to the lack of entry points. What it actually means is the target view controller that we have uh, set up has no entry point. So it will not be in the picture when you will run your application. So what it means is either you remove it or you give it an entry point. It is like a waste for now. So yes, we're gonna do it in a moment. What we're gonna do is um, we're, gonna, we're gonna go to the submit button and we're gonna click on control and drag it on the view controller here and we're gonna select the model segue. 
Make sure you select the model sequence. Name the identifier of the model sequence as submit. Uh, that comes in handy when you have many view controllers and many model segways. Okay, now you can see that there is no issue. Um, now we're gonna take the outlets of the text boxes uh, in the view controller.h file and here make sure you click control and drag it in the view controller.h file and you can give it any name you want. Let's say we take your text box name. Click connect. We're gonna do the same for address and phone number. Address. X box phone number I like it say it takes box number number will be good okay uh, so click connect and uh, now we have to do the same thing with the submit button and for the submit button make sure you use an IB action and not an outlet because it has to take an action an action will be triggered that has to be handled when you click a submit button so yeah we are gonna name it submit and click connect uh, we are done with the um, linking part I said linking part and not linking park <laughs> okay now we are gonna go to the second view controller where we will have the labels that I said will show the details of the text boxes after we click the submit button so for that we actually need files that will handle uh, the that will handle the second view controller so make sure you choose a view control uiv controller and we're gonna we're gonna name it target view controller click next and do not click create xib because we already have the view controller file of that okay click next and uh, click create make sure it's in the data transfer next okay we have the file um i'm just gonna go drag it be, be, uh, yeah below the view controller okay now we have the target view controller file in the storyboard uh select your view controller and make sure make sure you have the view controller selected like from the hierarchy yes and you need to put target view controller inside from this list yes we have the target view controller here it is uh, press enter we pretty much done and the linking is done um, and it's somewhat upwards or downwards I'm just gonna yeah that's okay okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put labels in the new target view controller um, we're just gonna do it in a moment yes yeah now we're gonna have labels that will show the details of the text boxes so I'm putting the labels here size it as you please I'm just gonna put the name inside them I'm just gonna go copy paste them again so to save myself from resizing them again and again that's how I do it yes I'm gonna name it um, pretty much done okay I'm gonna name it a uh, name address and uh, phone number uh, this is just for the sake of uh, your understanding and you're not gonna see this in the output you can actually put that too uh, that you can do it from the code itself 
so yeah we're pretty much done with this for now uh, what we're gonna do is now we will link the outlets of these labels in the target view controller dot h file make sure you are in the dot h file control click and drag it in the target view controller dot h file see i'm taking label name here and there i took text box name so i do not get confused with the names uh, it's an outlet and the connection is reconnected uh, we have to do the same with address and phone number and we just gonna go it quickly label address connect label number yeah here label number connect okay so we're done with the linking part uh, what we're gonna do next is uh, okay so I'm just gonna go copy these and paste them you might be thinking why I did that wait for a second and I'll tell you why just replace the IV outlet and UI label with NS string do that for all the three and a string and a string and see you can see that Xcode is giving me error that the name you're giving to the property matches with an already defined property like we have two label names here so I'm just gonna go remove the label there and write a string because they are the string we're gonna use um, yes, a string name, string address, string number. Now you can see there are no issues. So we're pretty much done on the dot s part. Um, uh, you can see that uh, in the target view controller dot m file, we already have some code. I'm just gonna go remove this commented code. We do not really need it this time. I'm just gonna go synthesize them, uh, synthesize some properties like label name, label address, label number. What synthesize does is it synthesizes the properties for us so we can use it uh, with the name and you do not need to use underscore or self dot label name. So here I can directly use label name, label name dot text equal to see now I cannot use string name here because I have not uh, synthesized it property uh, if we, if I want to do it I have to synthesize it or else I'll have to use self .str name. so I'm just gonna go synthesize it uh, synthesize str name str address and it's the number yeah uh, pretty much done with that you'll see that you can use str name yeah it's here so just do that for all the three label name the text label address the text equal to str address and label number the text equal to str number number yeah okay so we're pretty much done with the uh, with the code of target view controller mm. okay so we're pretty much done the properties are set um, we're gonna use these properties to uh, transfer the data between the view controllers so yeah now what you have to do is uh, now in the view controller.m file uh, is the rest logic of the segment. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do go ahead and create a new method called prepare for Sigway. You can see the prepare for Sigway method. Um, press enter 
what it does is uh, it prepares the data uh, when we do the transfer between the view controllers import target view controller dot h file because we're gonna need it uh, as we're gonna use uh, it right here in a moment yeah so now we're gonna create an object of the of target view controller let's name it tvc okay uh now what we're gonna do is um let's let's define the object as the destination view controller uh we'll do it by tvc equals the segway destination view controller done okay now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna use tvc.scr name and we're gonna take the values from text box name and put them inside the tvc star name uh, let me first synthesize them synthesize six box name text box address text box number okay we're done uh, tvc string name equal to text box name dot text let's do this for all the three of them what what it does is it passes the value of uh, the text value of text box name the text into the um, into the str name of target view controllers object so tvc dot str address equal to text box address dot text tvc dot str number equal to text box number dot text okay so we're pretty much done okay let's run the application build succeeded and here is our simulator uh, let's enter the values i'm just gonna put my name my name let's keep the end capital okay now my address dummy values are such see now you can see that for the phone number you have a different keyboard as the number pad because we selected the number pad here um, yes we have the number pad here and submit see the values that we entered in our view controller are now in the target view controller so yes we actually succeeded in passing the data between two view controllers using properties thank you for watching please like and subscribe and please share the video if you like it um, you can post your comments below if you want to ask any question and we'll be more than happy to help you thanks